Keith, this is Dutch coming at you from Prison Riot Radio. And I got my man on the phone, Kevin Alame Haynes. Please, bro, how you doing? I'm doing great. How you making up, fam? Man, you know how we do, man. One day at a time, man. That's the main thing. So jumping straight into this, I wanted to ask you, how long did you do? I did 27 years. I was convicted. Uh, I was sentenced. Uh, well, I started my bid. Sep- well, I got arrested September 1st, 1993 by the feds. And um, got sentenced in 1994 after a trial. And um, I did 27 years. I came home in 2020. Okay, I got you. And for that period of time, I mean, going in, describe yourself as far as the individual who got arrested. Who was who was Alameen at that time, or was it Alameen at that time? It was Alameen. He, he was he was he was he was he was a he was, he was, he was, he was a typical kid from Brooklyn. You know, rough around the edges. I mean, a lot of times you okay. did what you ha- a lot of times you did what you had to do to survive and as well as to get a name for yourself in the street to protect your family. And um I'm about right, that. Right. That's who I was and, and that's what I did. Gotcha. Gotcha. So once you were incarcerated, was there a point when you decided there was a transformation that needed to take place or was it more gradual? You know, was it was it, you know, over a period of time or was it something that said, you know, now is the time for me to make that change? Well, it took over a period of time because a lot of times, um, these days with the um, this call is from the North Carolina Correctional the anti- Facility. With the anti-terrorism bill, when they passed that, and they changed the twenty-two fifty-five, right, and right, and stuff like that. When they changed all that, they begin to and they enhance all of the mandatory minimums. They was putting guys away for thirty, forty years and life sentence. So who you can't you can't give nobody no sense like that. As 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 a kid, they say now nah, just go be good. So the transformation came um, over a course of time after like maybe my um, 10th or 15th year in the system, I realized that, you know, the, the route I was going wasn't a good route, you know. So that's when, you know. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Nah, I got you. And, and, and at that point, what was it that got you through your time? What was it that, what was your foundation that really gave you the strength to really, really make that change? Number one is God Allah, because I'm Muslim. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Sunni. Uh, um, and my mother. Um, my main, my main, like, like wow. my anchor was my mother, man. I mean, like, she, she had a way of talking to me. And right. like, she's so, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, nah, absolutely. Absolutely. I can definitely relate to that as well. So after that, at that point, once you, once you came home and, you know, was it a, was it a situation where you came home hit the ground running, or was it you know a downtime where you had to re you had to reevaluate and get yourself together? Well, it was more of a downtime, or, or willfully or unwillfully, because when I got out, it was COVID. So for like two years okay. straight, it was really you know you know nothing to do. But but within that time, I established a few things, and um, and I knew I wasn't I didn't want to leave the, the men uh, anyone left behind that that was going through that. So I began to be uh, more act, activist, you um, know. So okay, and and could you tell me tell me a little bit about that because you you know we me and you and we be dialoged a little bit yesterday. And it was really intriguing what you were saying, how you were doing it, and, and the different events that you were blessed to be able to be a part of. Yeah, well, um, through the grace and mercy of God, I, uh, a brother by the name of Ian Owens, and we started a class in Pollock, Louisiana, called Mercy Me 924C. And um, that is website too, but however, uh, we wrote John Gleason, who fell a retired district court judge. And um I'm just summarizing this up. But anyway, we uh right. but anyway we um contacted him. He he took he said he'd take twenty guys cases, he took twenty of guys cases. I was one of the guys the first guys of the group pulled that out. From that case, from there, um we used to talk all the time over the phone. He liked how I talked. 
this that. So when COVID came, we wasn't able to go up to the schools. So we been get, we begin to do a Zoom things, and um, I would speak to the kids in the um, hallway, spoke to them like three or four times, uh, um, a few times via Zoom, and regarding um, the, the, the mandatory minimums, prison reform, and stuff like that. From there, because he's a professor there. From there, I had the honors of speaking at Yale. I went there personally, went to Yale, and from Yale, I spoke at the uh, NYU a few times. From NYU. I spoke at the American Bar Association, and from the American Bar Association, I spoke before a body of lawyers and judges um, at the law firm. And um, so that's pretty much what I've been doing, staying active and stuff like that. And um, they pretty much use me as an example that, you know, people can change. Word. Absolutely. That's great. I mean, I definitely salute you on that because you've been doing a lot for the cause of other people. Let me ask you, uh, as, as far as brothers and sisters' cases behind the G-Wall, is there a way for them to get at you? I mean, how do you how do you go about deciding what cases you take? Well, well, generally, I don't take no cases. But I what I what I do is I recommend them to contact um, uh, Devil Boys in Pimpleton. I don't have. Let me see if I get the address of the law firm. And what it is is, and you contact um, uh, like you can write John Gleason did. Um, um, and you contact John Gleason there and see if he will aid and assist you with your um, with your case. I mean, he do clemency and different other things. It's a it's a team of um, lawyers that okay. Uh, but um, I'm looking for the address now so I can, uh, hold on, here Hold on, yeah, here you go, here Okay. Yeah. All right. It's called Devil Boys in Pimpleton. It's D-E-B-E-V-O-I-S-E and Pimpleton, P-L-I-M-P-T-O-N. It's located at 66 Hudson Boulevard in New York. New York. Um, the uh, zip is one zero 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 one, and um, you know, so you anyone can write them, and you can address it to like John Gleason, and um, they will forward it. They'll make sure that it, it get processed properly, and they'll let you know that they receive your claim. They will review your records and tell you whether or not they are. This call is from the North Carolina Correctional Facility. If I get to, if, if I get a heads up. I try to like, you know, intervene and try to get it move 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 forth, you know, advance further, you know, with the hopes that they take it. But you know, basically that's what I've been doing. Okay. okay. Now I got you. I got you. And that's how you get in contact with them people. Yeah. All right. Now you would tell me about a, a podcast that you were a part of that had helped the brother get out. Could you tell me a little bit about that? I encourage everybody to reach out. You can go on Facebook. His name is James Jones. I'm a part of the Reinvention Center. Um, and what happens is every Sunday night, we talk about different things that affect everybody, the world or whatever. Um, this tonight, we're talking about uh, uh, the uh, thing, uh, the, 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 the uh, what's that thing? Um, 25, the thing 25 and 47, the thing down with Trump and them is trying to um, implement um, uh, how oh, okay, Project 20, 20, 20, 25. Project 25 and Project 47. He's saying he don't know Project 25. Okay. Although, although we know he's lying. But um, he said he don't know about Project 25. And, um, he, he got a Project 47. So we're doing this. We're going, we're going to dissect that today. Uh, this Sunday, tonight, gotcha. between the hours of 8 and like 10. But however... We talk about criminal stuff, like if you'll have pictures that guys are being violated in jail. Um, anyway, we can help anyone that who's been wrongfully incarcerated or even overly incarcerated. I mean, you know, how long you keep a man standing in the gallows before you hey, hang him, let him go? You know, so if you've been overly incarcerated, so we that's what that's what we deal with. You know, any type of injustice, we um we address it. But it's a good formula. Plus, it's a good format because it highlights your case, 
you may even if you guys have gotten lawyers and different other things. So yeah, it's, it, it, social media is a plus. It definitely can be a gift or a curse depending on how you use it. Right. Absolutely, absolutely, but I definitely, man, that's, that's beautiful, I mean, that's, that's a lot of what we do over here at Pigeon Live Radio, because, as you know, you know, firsthand, man, it's, it's hard behind these people, especially when you don't have anybody out there that mm-hmm. know what to do, or, or even in your corner, to do anything, you know, so right. what you're doing, man, I really appreciate that and salute that, man. Let me ask you, if you had any advice for, for individuals that are still inside, what they should be doing for themselves and for their case. Basically, what I would tell guys is um, don't give up. Never give up hope. I mean, I mean, that's my main thing is like, because even some, because you never know. I mean, I mean, you know, Al Smith had a song called Amazing. And at the end of the song, he said, you know, you never know that the light at the end of the tunnel just may be you. <laughs> and, um, it's a funny quote. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's real. And uh, never well, give up, and, and, and keep on, and, and, educate, and try to educate yourself more and more about your law, or at least about your situation, because too many people get in there and they give up, and they board games, and they want to watch T and A all day on TV. I mean, keep up with current events, y'all. You will have to watch TV. You have to watch the news. I ain't saying you have to believe everything on it, but if you can watch the news, just stay stay somewhat abreast current events and stay relevant and, 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 and in the fight. But in, in this way you'll know how to um combat and move. But um, don't 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 just don't give up. Educate yourself and don't give up. Yeah, that's absolutely man. That's a definitely a good message, man. How can the brothers, how can anybody get at you, man? Any any websites you want to share? I mean we're also posting out to the interview as well, but is there any any address you want to share to put them to get in contact with you? Well look my my um my on uh, my email address is e l a m e e n h a y n e s at gmail dot com. It's Alameen Haynes at gmail dot com. Anybody who want to reach out for me, you can reach out for me via email. If you send me, because I don't just want to put my phone number out there. But if you put, but if you contact me, yeah, right. I will in, in your legit. I will I will um, reach out to your family members. I will call them, and we can go back and forth anywhere any anywhere we I can help. That's what that's that's what it is. Nah, absolutely, Doug. Keep doing what you're doing, man, and, and may you be rewarded, man, because you are definitely definitely out there doing the work, man. That's the world. So I appreciate you. Any last word before we shine out? Yeah, another thing. Um, God bless you all. Thank you for having me on the show. And for those who who family have access to Facebook, tell them it's called the Growth Hour, and the guy name is James Jones. And um and um but he's on um YouTube uh, TV. So this way, anybody who want to reach out, y'all can reach out for him to put, get your get your um y'all uh, your cases reviewed and or on the show and your family express what happened. So this is where we can pump up your case, expose it to social media and get your guys lawyers or any type of help and just, just highlight the injustice. So um, that's what we're here for. Um, please do that. And, you know, God bless you. Nah, that's what's up, yo. Hey, yo, this You have 60 seconds remaining. Been a good interview with my man, Kevin Alameen Hayes. I appreciate you, brother. She's not signing off on Prison Live Radio. Please.